is the plushie in Space Engineers actually a secret weapon? Now, the first mistake that players make when using the plushie is they don't charge it. Now, when you charge these, I found the best way is to actually mount them on a small grid block, charge them up perhaps about an hour and a half, and once they've charged, you don't get any indication that they're ready to use. But if you look very closely, you'll notice four indicator beacons on the front. When these turn to a green color, your plushie is ready to use. Now, once it's charged, remove the battery and pick up the plushie. It'll insert it in your inventory, and now you're ready for the next stage. Now, approach an air vent, go into your inventory, and throw the plushie inside. When the plushie's inside, of course, it needs to be armed, so throw a pistol in there as well. Now, with that all done, the plushie should activate in the Willis Dot. Now, it's going to take some time to train your plushies, but we'll talk about that a little bit later on. With the big plushie hands, it makes them a little bit difficult when it comes to trying to pick up weapons, but they, they will do it eventually, and when they are armed, they will then head off and deal with various different targets within the docks. So be careful out there, and make sure that your plushies are well trained. Now, you're probably thinking, how can I get myself some plushies? You've probably headed over to the assembler and tried to print some out. Well, you can't actually find them like that. You have to find them by venturing out into the wild, and plushies like to congregate in certain sort of areas. I found these forest biome areas seem to have a lot of plushie activity, and if we're quiet and sneaky enough, we can often sneak up and bag ourselves a number of plushies. Now, I've spent a long time trying to work out their behavior, and they are very, very difficult to spot. The small plushie size makes it extremely difficult, so I recommend using a camera block and trying to zoom in in various areas. Now, in this particular scene, we need to be careful because there is a burrow, and this burrow it can hold up to probably 10 plushies, and when they're backed into a burrow like this, you can see it's at the base of this tree here, there's even a plushie that could possibly be on lookout up there. We need to be careful because a plushie that is backed into a burrow is going to be very, very deadly. Now, these plushies don't seem to be nocturnal. Uh, once or twice I have caught one out at night, but they seem to return to their burrows in the evening and remain in the burrows through the night. And this is the perfect time to set the trap. But the reason they return to their burrows is because the Saboid plushie is lurking. This is the natural predator of the engineer plushies, so make sure you're alert and stay on your toes while setting up your traps. So let's talk plushie traps. Now there's two that seem to be quite effective, and there is some strange characteristics of the plushie as a creature that seem to draw it to these particular traps. Now, firstly, we have the big red button trap. This is a simple door activated that lures the plushie in with a big red button. It seems that they share some so maybe some instincts with the engineer itself and uh, they cannot resist hitting the big red button that then seals them up in this trap. The other trap option is a simple sensor. It'll see the trap behind them like so and then they are ready for transport. Now it's super important that we don't damage their natural habitat. For that reason I'm using this crane truck and this industrial lifting arm to lift it very delicately without damaging anything around it. Once it's lifted and I've got them safely aboard, I'm going to transport these slowly and delicately back to base. On arrival at the storage area, this is just a temporary storage location where I'm going to store the plushies before I get to training them, um, I'm going to open up the cage and you'll notice that some of the plushies do like to get stuck to the lid, so make sure you give them a bit of a shake and then uh, just drop them gently down into the pit. Um, then we'll quietly put the truck away and we'll begin the training process. Now this is three days later and a few hundred miles away from the temporary storage bay. We're actually at our plushie training center. Here we're going to develop plushie skills, see which plushies have the, the sort of uh, the stuffing you could say to move a little bit further on. And the first test is an observation area like so. We've got ourselves some welders that have been loosely laid out, and as you can see, some plushies are taking interest in the welders. The plushies that are not might come along or might see other plushies using the welders and start doing the same themselves. This is where we're going to start to see some natural leaders form within the, the plushie sort of society, as well as how they train each other to use tools. It's extremely important at this stage, though, not to give them any tools that they could possibly escape with um, or harm are us engineers who are watching from the perimeter as we have had some incidents in the past. Well, congratulations on making it this far into the video, and I hope you have a semi-domesticated plushie. But there is one drawback with having a plushie that's not out in the wild, and it's we've messed with its hibernation cycle. Now, you'll notice if your plushie starts to hibernate, as it'll take this seated position like so, 
and it will remain very, very still. Now, in, out in the wild, this isn't such a big problem. Due to the constant threat of predators, the hibernation cycle only occurs at two times throughout the year. But this hibernation cycle can actually be very, very useful in the deployment of your plushie. When it hibernates, simply pick it up and keep it powered with near your jetpack or within the storage area. And when you're ready to deploy, shake it rapidly and throw it in an air vent and it should work perfectly as intended. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this plushie training video. Thank mm -hmm. you.